This is Zen and Javelin, and this is our administration overview series. And in this particular one, we are going to go over news. Now, news is going to be the heart and soul of your website from Technobase Studios. It's going to be your front page material, actually. It's going to be where the most pertinent, the most important, the most up-to-date or recent articles and so forth are going to be. Now, the one thing about the news is that you'll notice here where it, on my demo website, the default home page module because remember, everything here that you're seeing, the modules for administration in one uh, little box here, the modules that has for the links of the different areas of your website that your uh, members from Second Life and your groups and so forth, as well as the new members that you get who may not join your groups but do become members at your website, uh, primarily because their groups are full, um, will be able to link to. Your front page module is, if you look at the home, where you'll see the middle sections through here. Okay, that's your home page modules. Now, if you'll notice, the module that's for the home page is your news. So it's going to be the things that you write up in your news, again, your most pertinent, recent, important information that you put together that's going to make up for your news category. Now in news, we're going to go ahead and put in our article. I did go ahead and put in one article, but for the purpose of the demonstration here, I will put in through another one. Um, once you click it, you see where it has for you to add a new article. Now, several things to notice in this. Um, one, of course, is giving your article a title. I'm going to just put in uh, Web Module Administration, and I'll just put in for Part 2, because I did earlier put in for 1, so that you could see on the home page how this develops. Um, from then, you have where you can select the topic that you want it to fall under. The reason that, and remember, everything falls under a category or some type. Here is where any related topics or associated topics you can put under. I will put in for the PHP Nuke, since this does deal with the actual website administration. In another module, Call Topics, that you see up here is where you can actually create different categories for your topics. The next thing that you see here is where it says associated topics. In other words, what other areas on the website will this be associated with as far as for news? And of course, PHP is a logical choice. But for you where, if say you're a club owner, you could have where it's your event and a logical place for an associated topic would say be the event calendar okay the next thing here is the category that you will place this under now for the categories you do have the drop-down box for which you can pick which category you'd like to put this new news article under but it does have three things next to it three icons one the first one which just looks like a sheet of paper is where you can add any new topics or rather new categories that you can create you can edit the categories that you have already created and you can delete any categories that no longer are necessary on your website for this particular one since it's dealing with the website modules we are going to put it under the category of website administration now the next thing you see here is where it says publish in home what that means is do you want this particular news story to be published on your front page or home page when people go right to your web address um, we'll just put yes right there um, the next thing that you have here is activate 
comments for this story. Now, you can decide whether or not your website members, visitors to and so forth can comment and you can see and read those comments um, within your website administration. Of course, you do have it to where you must first approve of the comment before it is actually published. Next is to choose which language this story should be in. Then from there is where you have two editing boxes for your content for the news article that you put through. One is the story text, the actual story, and the second is extended text, which means where if there is more information that you would like to follow, if this should be, say, a weekly um, news coverage of the same event type of thing, uh, for example, you're redoing a section of your club and you're keeping your members up to date as far as how it's going or if you're a business for example where you are creating or working on a new product and you want to build excitement so that when it comes out you have a bunch of people ready right there to go ahead and buy your product this is where you can go ahead and keep people interested and motivated in reading more now, as I said, one of the things I usually do is write out my articles in WordPad or Microsoft Word, whatever your favorite text editor is. Um, and then from there, I usually paste it right on to. Now, from here, of course, like you would with all of your text boxes, you're able to go ahead and make certain things bold, italic, underline, justify right, left, or middle. Um, now the next thing that I am going to do is there was a part of this article that I want for it to be extended to keep my people interested. So I'm going to cut it out of there and put it in the extended text. Um, being that it's extended, I'd like to have that centered as far as for the topic and make it bold, italic, and underlined. Now here is where, remember, you always can put in HTML code of your own where if you had any associated photographs or so forth that you wanted to add, if you wanted to change some of the coding that's already in for what you've placed, you can definitely do so there. The next thing there is where you have the option to program the story, meaning if you don't want it displayed today, Let's say that this is something on a timely basis that you want people to actually read next week. You can go ahead and click yes to that and then put in whichever date, month, year, and even time of when you would like the story to be placed. The next thing there is where you can have where the story is only previewed and then clicked for more or you can post the story. Preview the story is actually a very good thing for when you want to have the story actually fully read next week but you're dealing with building that interest for, you know, right at the time being. Another thing that's nice about your news articles is that you can attach a poll to it. Um, we can attach a very quick poll on my understanding of admin modules is great, good, so, so, <laughs> bad, and then very bad, okay? These are polls that will actually be attached to this article that people can vote on. Then we click OK. And now you see where we have for the last 20 articles, the different articles that are through. You have the option to go ahead and edit the article or delete the article. As we go to our home page now, we actually see where the articles are there. Now the nice thing about the articles that are there is if you look on the regular going through and scrolling, random headlines is now showing because of one of the topics being the PHP nuke, 
it has where since we associated that topic with it it shows up now in our random headlines and then next if we click on read more you'll see where you have the article you see where we have it in blocks you see where the article polls are at you see related links now where news that I may have written before. You see where the article rating is that people can go ahead and cast their vote. They can even print this article, send it to a friend. And that is your news. And here you see where they can also post comments. Next mo module that we will end up going through is going to be our reviews now of our stories.